Uh, colleagues, uh, good afternoon. And uh, before I proceed, let me just uh, acknowledge the team that I, pre I, I came with. I have got uh, Nico with you there. He's my line manager. And uh, I've got uh, the Tony with us also, and Bongani, and Shakira. So they are giving me support. If I collapse, don't <laughs> they'll be coming to pick me up. So, so that's it. Um, I think the task ahead of us, uh, it's huge. Uh, let me just acknowledge all the presenters who Break, uh, we've broken the ground, and uh, you can see that much has been done in, 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 in the blended uh, learning. But for me here, let me just indicate that uh, I have strategies to improve the quality of existing blended modules. And in this regard, uh, I have uh, tried to indicate uh, some few aspects relating to that, wherein um, I'll be speaking to the three approaches, seven principles. Now, one may ask, what are those? Of course, that's why I said it's not a one-size-fits-all, so it depends on the kind of uh, situation you find yourself when you're trying to improve the, the blended module. Now, uh, I'll indicate to you that uh, if you check, the collaboration also plays an important role, engagement, and also differentiation. Now, based on the seven principles, I'm going to speak to the following items. Uh, the st student module contact, the, to develop reciprocity and cooperation among students, to utilize active learning techniques, provide prompt feedback, because it's quite important to provide feedback, and to emphasize adequate time on task and opportunities for practice. Again, to communicate high expectations amongst uh, the, the, the students and respect diverse talents and ways of learning. Now, uh, of course, we're saying blended module designing requires a willingness to step back and consider the goals and range of possibilities, strategies, techniques, and also tools. So but what does this mean? I've came up with uh, what I call the five W's. <coughs> this is not freezing. I've came up with uh, the five W's and uh, I asked the following questions in trying to design the, the module. What informs the strategies because once you have the strategies, you need to ask yourself, why do you have such strategies? And uh, of course, what works well between the face-to-face -face or lecture versus discussion? What, what actually can you choose there? Now, what does not work well on the face-to-face -face or how can you move online? What strategies best support the learning objectives? These are the questions that I'm asking. Uh, in trying to address that, and what strategies best meets the student needs in the process. Now, of course, every learning designer will, will, will come to the conclusion that uh, you need to have identified blended learning module objectives before you try and, and step into anything. You need to have your, you create a, a blended learning module outline and also indicate the syllabus to keep your learners motivated and on track. And also determine the, blend, the blended learning module's level of interactivity. How and when do you interact? And integrate the group of collaboration activities. So the, the, the collaboration activities should also play a role, as I'm trying to indicate, and also develop the communication and feedback guide, guidelines. Why are you going to provide the feedback and what are the guidelines as, as, as when it comes to, to feedback? Now, compile a list of resources and references. Also create an effective assessment plan. So these are the things that have been uh, unpacked by the previous uh, presenters. But of course, as learning designers, 
that's our playground. That's what we were supposed to, to look into. Now, the planning task for, for a module, of course, I'll, I'll, I'll emphasize this, because I think uh, as instructional de designers, we, we are stuck on the, on the same model. Now, let me indicate to you that uh, I said we identify learning objectives. Now, we need to also create a syllabus. If you check one-on-one -on -one there on my slides, learning objectives should be based on a particular syllabi. And then uh, the assessment also. We need to also select a textbook. You, can, you cannot just uh, go around finding different sources, but you need to be specific on what type of, of, of a text we are going to utilize. Design a content and activities, and then write, write learning objectives, and then select the media and delivery options. And then from there, then you can decide on recording the lectures and develop the module material develop the learning ob uh, objects, and then implement the module, design module activities, evaluate and revise the module. So these are the things that you should uh, uh, look into. But however, where does collaboration fit in in the whole uh, setup? Now, collaboration has to be a student module contact, as I proposed, or as I, as I reflected on the, on the, on the screen. Now, there are various uh, collaborative tools. You can add more from what I have. Now, the social media tool, the message tool, the blogs, the charts, the roster tool, the announcements, the meeting tools, etc. Now, on the second point, you need to develop the reciprocity and cooperation amongst the students because they need to, to, to be together and they need to cooperate in your process, in the process of, of, of uh, undertaking the, the, the module. Now, we're looking at dynamic grouping tools to make them uh, be together. The discussion forums, the assignments. Now, the wikis will also play a role in there. And then the student content in lesson and e-portfolios, student built in projects. This supports uh, the, the cooperation and the re reciprocity of the students in that uh, scenario. Now, engagement is the aspect that I think should also be pursued. If you utilize active learning techniques, as my third uh, uh, principle there, you look at utilizing active learning. I think uh, one of the presenters outlined how active learning should, should be uh, playing a role in there. And then, uh, the universal, what you see is what you get, rich content authoring. So what you see is what you should get, of, of course, when you, 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 you try to design your, your, your course. So that basically should support, should have support for, for the lesson, support for mobile devices, as they, they outlined earlier on, that uh, mobile devices also play a role in assisting students to engage on, 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 on this thing. But then we have uh, SMS messaging, collaborative authoring and assessment. These are the things that we, look, we, we also need to look into. Engage students in real time. This is your face-to-face -face engagement. And then native support for web content should also be included. In, integrate student authoring content and social media. This brings together the engagement aspect as one uh, uh, thing. Now, should I re reiterate active learning? Because uh, the most important thing in, in, in module development, there should be thorough interactive or active, active learning. Participation is very important. Now, how can you engage your, 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 your students or whoever? Now, readings. And uh, lectures, expect guests should also participate, simulations, role plays, case studies, videos, webinars, uh, web analysis, research modules, brainstorming. These are active learning and individual presentations, of course. Uh, debate teams, structured group projects, collaborative exams, uh, collaborative discussions, student-led discussions, instructor-led group discussions. So colleagues, what I'm trying to say is uh, 
the emphasis of active learning in a module is very, very important. And uh, maybe to also indicate that uh, adequate time on task and opportunities for practice should also be considered. Now, the powerful calendaring options should also be an option in, in, in what you, you give to your students. And you monitor the student usage of the activity. I think uh, some colleagues of us who are presenting, they also have the data of the, the student usage activity and how they, uh, they, they participate. They reassess the learning on an individual basis and synchronized uh, syllabus should also be considered. But then, if we take a look at uh, this diagram, which indicates uh, your your face-to-face -face versus your online. Now, blended learning in itself should support all the aspects. Now, earlier on, they indicated that three phases, of course. Which one should also agree to say you should have all those phases covered, the online one and the face-to-face. -face. But what I'm trying to say is uh, on the live uh, in person basis, you have instructor led classrooms or the hand, hands on labs, the coaching, the, the, the mentoring, the training. These are the, the live ones. But then, if you go synchronize virtual collaboration, the live online learning and the charts, the conference calls, the video conferencing should play a role. And then you can also asynchronize visual collaboration with an online discussion boards, email blogs, wikis, and then self paced asynchronize will therefore. Uh, which is basically online. You have online tutoring, uh, simulation, online self-assessments, archived we webinars, and podcasting. So this will build uh, 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 the strength of, of your module in totality. Now, the differentiation should also pay, play a, a role. Now, under differentiation, one of the principles there discussed is communicate high expectations. Set the stage, engage outside stakeholders, if you can, and model, model desired performance. There must be a desired performance that has been modeled there. Maintain contact seamlessly, create and evaluate complex work, uh, create and evaluate complex work, and then continue improving on a continuous basis. So to build that particular module to become a strong module at the end of the day. Now, respect diverse talents and ways of learning, but then, uh, in the previous presentation, you had colleagues who were emphasizing the, 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 the participation of students. Having students creating their own content is quite important because they associate the module with themselves, unlike with the, the, the creator of the, of the module. Now, authoring without restrictions. Learn about the students. You need to understand what a student wants and support cho choice and unique pathways. So there should be some kind of uh, inclusi inclusivity within the whole aspect. Can we provide prompt feed feedback in the entire module? Of course, immediate and detailed assessment feedback is required in this regard, wherein detailed uh, uh, time-sensitive assignment feedback should also be uh, an option. Just-in-time formative assessment should be taken or should be considered. And then should also schedule reminders to students or to, to, to so that they should know uh, what is happening within the, the, uh, the, 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 the module. Support for student response system. So the student should be able to respond on what you, you, you're trying to, to, to provide to them. Now, rubric and plagiarism integration should be within the module. So that these things should interact with the students when they want something. Conf confirmation of peace of mind also. They should frequently, when they go to the system, they should have this uh, association with what they're trying to do when, when they, they, they are in the, mo in the, mo in the trying to interact with the, the module. Now, in summary, I would indicate to you that uh, it's best to analyze the face-to-face -face module for planning and to scrutinize the module objectives before you, you, you take uh, it forward. And know your online role and level of expertise. Like colleagues have said, uh, 
there are those who will not want to associate themselves with online things, etc. So you need to understand yourself and the role you are playing when you want to take the module online and then try to move it forward like that. Now, be aware of time commitment. Of course, there's also been reiterated that time is something that is uh, bugging when it, it comes to that. Now, learn to teach the technology. Well, maybe that's uh, a debate that we can take forward after the presentation. Seek out support systems and reflect and revise the entire module, of course, so that you could see what uh, it's uh, uh, on the plate. I think I'm done. So be before I ask a question, um, in one of your slides, you mentioned the use of SMS messaging. The question actually relates to if you're using it or if it was just an example. If it was just an example, there's no question. Okay. <coughs> Yo. Basically, it's, it's uh, maybe, maybe, maybe before I answer you, I, I, I just didn't tell you that uh, in, the, in, in the current design where I am, I'm just one, one month, two months old. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm basically in the analyzing stage of the entire uh, system. So uh, I'm still trying to find things to take on for. But of course, I consider the fact that SMSing but uh, this was just an example of things that you could put together to take it forward. Thanks. <laughs>